Hello, my name is Matt Nolf. I'm with PNG Technologies out of Michigan. We're a supplier of propane and natural gas kits for generators. Today we're going to be doing a Coleman PowerMate 4000. Uh, this is powered by the Honda GX240. Uh, we'll show you the propane kit and then the natural gas kit. Um, these are custom kits designed specifically for this unit. So we will go ahead and get started on this and show you the installation. Okay, first what we're going to do is go ahead and remove our air cleaner box here. Now, this one here the, is the top mount air cleaner. You can't even get the air cleaner off this unit without removing this whole thing to even change your PM, your filter. So um, I know that what we'll do is we'll go ahead and pull our hose off here. Okay, get that removed. And just kind of tuck it back to the side there now there is a vibration bracket bolt up on this side this one's not on there but most of them have it just go ahead and remove that and then we'll go ahead and remove our two nuts on the front here and we'll expose our gasoline carburetor go ahead and pull this off and we'll set that to the side and we'll show you the next steps. Okay, now what we're going to do is go ahead and get ready to install our slim adapter here. Now when we add this on here, obviously it brings out the air cleaner box. So what I did was, is just lock down on your studs up here. You know, don't go to your ends and narrow your threads up, but go back here. Just lock down and turn them out until you have enough clearance to be able to get your uh, air cleaner back on. Now, I only had to back them out about maybe three turns, so make sure their gasket's on there. Go ahead and install the adapter. We'll supply you with another gasket here. Okay, get that lined up. Go ahead and get this set back up. And now we can go ahead and install our nuts back on the front here. And we'll get this tightened down. Ooh, got that nice and snug. That's as easy as that. I mean, it's so simple. And then just hook your tube back up here. Now, again, like I was telling you about the bolt, when you pull this out, you can't get that back on there anyway. And this is stable. I ain't going anywhere. So that's that step there. We'll show you the next step. Okay, now what we're going to do is go ahead and get ready to mount our regulator assembly. Again, like I said in the beginning of the video, that this will all be pre-assembled as custom. Everything will be set for your power elbow. You might have a very minor adjustment, but you'll be able to get it to kick, so that'll be no problem. So what we're going to do is go ahead, and from your center bar coming over, we're going to mount the regulator right here. What we're going to do is come over two inches. Make us a mark there, okay, two inches from the frame. And then we're going to come back and mark one and three quarters of an inch. Now, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of going in the center of the frame. So, and I'll take me a punch and make a mark so my drill bit doesn't wobble around on me so much. If you don't have one, you should have no problem still doing it. So just go ahead and get ready to drill these out.
ready to we'll go ahead and clean them up and show you the next step all right now that we've got our holes drilled cleaned out we'll go ahead and get our regulator mounted and we'll supply you the hardware here what i do is i just put a couple washers on each side of it um and it doesn't narrow the frame up so go ahead and get that one started in there we'll get this one going and get our flat washers on top here and let's go ahead and get this set up here locked down all right all right and we'll show you the next steps all right now we've got our regulator all fastened down and we're going to go ahead and connect up our hose now be careful here these are can be brittle they can break um, so just be careful you don't put pressure that's why I leave the hoses a little bit longer so just go ahead and get that hooked up there and we'll get this locked down on here. All right, and then now we will go ahead and get this thing set up to run. Okay, now what we're going to do is go ahead and get our propane tank hooked up here. Um, we'll go ahead and get our line connected to the unit here. And you don't need pipe rope on this here. It's a flare fitting. So let's go ahead and turn our fuel on. All right. Turn our ball valve on. Now on the back of the unit, there's a manual primer button on here. So hit that a second or two. That'll shoot the fuel up in here and get it into your intake a little quicker. So let's go ahead and make sure your switch is on, okay? And make sure your gasoline cockpit is shut off and ran out of gasoline. So let's go ahead and get this going. Hit the button there. That concludes our video for the Coleman PowerMate 4000. Uh, again, this has the Honda uh, GX240 engine in it. Um, now, for natural gas, all you're going to do is you won't have your high pressure regulator for your propane tank. You'll remove this bushing here and this run your natural gas straight right to the ball valve here. Now, we also carry all that natural gas hose, treat uh, three quarter inch with three quarter inch quick connects. So if you're interested in purchasing this kit from us, uh, you can go to our website at pngtechnologies.com or we could be reached at 734-992-2648. I want to thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it helps out. Uh, again, thank you and uh, have a wonderful day.